Hello everyone, I'm Ilya with General Components. I'm joined here today by our Director of Sales, Oleg Meller. So, what do you got for us today? Thanks, Ilya. Today, we're going to look at our digital thermostat and a 7-day timer for the Bison series air heaters. When the timer is first installed after it has been powered on, the initialization screen will appear with the I and I letterings on the display. And once it is connected to the heater and has performed a self-check on the timer itself, it brings you to the main menu. The navigation buttons on the timer you see here, the right arrow key or the left arrow key, the power button, which is a bit misleading because it only functions as a back button to bring you back to the previous menu and lastly, an OK button. So when the timer is in the idle state, the display is not on, but any button really will wake it up from the idle state. The first thing you want to do when you turn it on is to set the current time. To do that, navigate using the left and right arrow keys on the timer and move to the clock icon and hit OK to enter. Here you select the day of the week, and today happens to be Thursday, and you hit OK. And then you select the time, which is 2.57 p.m. right now. Our thermostat uses the military time, so we do 14, and then 57, and then hit OK. Now the time is set. The next feature we want to discuss is the programming feature, and you can have up to three start times per day in any combination of the seven days in a week. So to do that, navigate to the P icon and hit OK, and then you will see the three programs displayed on the upper left corner. Let's go into program number one by pressing OK and set program number one to on by using the left and right arrow keys and hit OK. The next thing you see is the length of time you want the heater to run in this program. So let's set it to one hour. The time goes up in increments of 10 minutes. So we will set it to 60 minutes. Press OK to confirm the time duration. Next up, we need to give this program a start time. Let's have the heater start up at 6.10 in the morning. And we're going to have the heater start up on Monday. So set Monday to on by pressing the right arrow key and then OK to confirm the heater will start up on Monday. Tuesday, we'll have it off, so press OK. Wednesday, we will have it on at 6.10 in the morning as well. So right arrow key and then hit OK. The rest of the days, we will have it stay off. Now the first program is set. If you go back into PE, you will see it's blinking program number 1. Monday and Wednesday are set for 6.10 in the morning. To go back, press the power button and you're back in the main menu. To set another program, just repeat the same steps. Navigate to the P icon, hit OK. Select program number 2 this time and you repeat the same steps as program number 1. So hit OK, turn on program number 2, Select the length of time you want it to run. Let's say you want it to run for another hour, and this time we want to start at 1 in the morning. And now hit OK. We don't want to turn it on on Monday, so it's going to stay off. But we want to run at 1 in the morning on Tuesday, so we will change it to on for Tuesday, and hit OK. So program number 2 will turn on the heater on Tuesdays only at 1 in the morning. Now program number 2 is set as well. Alright, so the next thing we're going to look at is putting the heater into heat mode. From the idle state, wake up the timer, navigate to the heat icon, and hit OK. From here, the heater first goes through the self-check and self-diagnostic phases to make sure the heater is in good condition. After it passes the initial system check, 
It defaults to the constant power mode, which you can go from level 1 to level 7. In this mode, the heater will constantly output power. The only difference between the levels is how hard the fan blows heat into the heating space. Holding the OK button while in constant power mode, and it will take you to the set point mode. Here you can go from 5 degrees Celsius to 35 degrees Celsius. In set point mode, the heater will try to maintain whatever temperature you have set. So let's say we leave it at 34 degrees Celsius. Once it reaches the set temperature, it will go into the idle state. Once the temperature drops, it will kick back on and will try to maintain the set temperature. So if you can hear the fuel pump clicking, that means it's going into the on phase. But for demonstrating the timer, I am going to turn it off for now. Okay, so the next thing we're going to look at is ventilation mode. It's essentially a mode where the heater is on, but it's not producing any heat. It is just to move air around. So again, let's wake it up and navigate to the fan icon and hit OK. Same as in heating mode, you can set the fan levels from 1 to 7. 7 is the maximum and 1 is the minimum, just in case you want to get the air moving in your cabin. Okay, so the next thing we're going to demonstrate is the fuel priming function, where you need to prime the fuel line upon initial installation or the replacement of the fuel lines. So let's wake up the timer again, navigate to the clock icon, and press both arrow keys at the same time. And then we want to move over to the P2 menu item and hit OK. For 90 seconds, the pump will be clicking and delivering fuel to the combustion chamber. And I don't know if you're able to see the air bubbles that are now getting through the lines, but that is the priming function. And you can stop at any time by hitting OK and going back to the main menu. Alright guys, so now we're going to demonstrate the reading of fault codes and we're going to try to produce a fault code by disconnecting the fuel pump harness. When we turn on the timer and try to turn on the heater, let's wake it up and navigate to the heat mode and hit OK. Now let's turn on the heater and as you can see, the heater goes through the initial self-diagnostics. And right here, it registered the fuel pump fault. And E70 is flashing on the display to let you know the fuel pump circuit is open circuit. Read the fault codes that are recorded by the ECU, navigate to the heat icon, and hit OK. And when you're inside the heat mode, press both arrow keys at the same time, and it takes you to the fault code screen. Right now, as you can see, we have the first fault code of E70, which is the fuel pump open circuit fault. We have two of them registered right now, and the heater stores up to six fault codes. If there are no fault codes, all six fault records will be 00. zero. To clear the fault codes on the ECU, while inside the fault code screen, simply press and hold both arrow keys at the same time, and it will clear all of the fault codes from the heater. So every fault code goes back to zero, 00. And the last thing I want to show you is how to read the current temperature and atmospheric pressure. Just navigate to the AD icon, hit OK, 
and you can see that it's showing 35 degrees Celsius at the moment and 101 kilopascals of atmospheric pressure. The reason why this feature is included is because on the newer models, which we currently supply, the atmospheric pressure is what triggers the high altitude mode of the heater, where it adjusts the fuel pump frequency and delivers less fuel into the combustion chamber so it doesn't burn too rich. Thanks for watching. We hope this tutorial was helpful. Of course, feel free to reach out. We're always happy to hear from you.